So Ernest, just getting ready for the season opener and uh, being named a captain for this the first time, you know, what's your mindset and, and how are you feeling, you know, going into uh, week one? I mean, I feel great. Um, I just know, like, you know, we've heard it all. We've heard what we're supposed to be, what we're not supposed to be. So the challenge has been set and we're ready to write our own story, grab the pen and do what we know we're capable of. How did you, how did it feel to be named a, a captain for the first time in your career? Like I mentioned, I know you obviously, it doesn't change the way you lead or anything like right. that. And you've always been authentic in that regard, but what did that recognition mean to you? I mean, for these guys, they made a, a, a dream come true that I've had for a long time. Um, and it, it's all because of them. They thought of me highly enough to vote me captain. And I can't thank these guys enough. Like, I, I mean, I, I love coming around these, these men, being able to be out here and just, just grow with them, man. I, I love it and I appreciate them so much and I'll forever remember this moment. You guys have obviously a lot of young players on this defense, but it's a hungry group based on, I think, probably what you've seen in practice, obviously what we've seen. Um, in that regard, you know, what's kind of your assessment of the, the group and what do you like about the unit going into the uh, opener here? I mean, I love this group. This is the the, the funnest, the, the best defense, in my opinion, that we've been, that I've been a part of since I've been here. Just the want to, the, the, the way we compete. Nobody, nobody in the past has competed like this. And even though we've had success, I think defensively we truly have taken the next step. And I'm just excited to go out there and show it because um, I know that if we play like we're supposed to be, we'll be truly dominant. What are the biggest challenges you see when it comes to preparing for the Seahawks? A lot of carryover, at least from their offensive personnel and the guys they have on that roster. You know, you got 14 and um, lock it out there on the edges. So you gotta, you gotta maintain those guys. Of course, they're in the NFL, so they'll make their plays every now and then. But just as, as we go out there and contain those guys and then not let Geno them get off and stop the run game, I think we'll be pretty successful. And then just lastly, what, what are your goals personally heading into uh, your, your third season here as, as you have, you know, you know, take on a little bit bigger role and, right. and uh, you know, kind of see, oversee the middle of that defense? My, my goals are my goals. My, my main goal is to help this team win at, at all costs. And if I truly just go out there and play like I know I'm capable of, then any goal that's out there, I can get it and I can attain it. So. I always wanted to be the best, and that's what I'm looking forward to showing now. So, Jordan, I just first wanted to start off with, you know, you being voted a captain by your teammates. I know you obviously, you know, went through a lot last season. So just what did that recognition from your teammates mean to you? For sure, it means everything. Um, I just try to, like, no matter what I'm going through, I just try to be as positive of a person as I can be, just mm -hmm. to be around and, you know, for myself as well. You know, just to always just keep a positive attitude and always just keep fighting and working hard. And, caring for my teammates however however way I can. And you know, I'm just blessed to be in this position, super blessed. Um, and it's really humbling that, that they will vote me uh, captain again too. So I, I really don't take that lightly at all. So yeah, I'm, I'm really grateful for that. I know you were asked about this in the spring, but just to reiterate, because it's an important part of you being put in a leadership position like that, you know, how do you go about that as far as, you know, your style of leadership and the way you try to rally guys? Yeah, honestly, uh, I said in the spring, I'm just myself. Uh, and I kind of have a standard in mind, and um, I try to exemplify that myself first, because you can't tell anybody anything if, you, if you're not living that life yourself. So I try to exemplify that first myself every single day I wake up. Um, and then, yeah, if I could grab a guy to the side and, um, and kind of bring him along or tell the group we need to tighten up a little bit. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not really the demeaning type of person, but uh, yeah, I just kind of try to um, rub off on people by the way I go about my business, I guess. Yeah, yeah. And I know you don't want to reflect too much on, on last season, but just from the standpoint of obviously looking ahead to week one, just how do you feel, you know, physically just being at full strength and, you know, entering the season without having to worry about that? Yeah, I feel really good and grateful just to be, be healthy. Uh, out here with the guys, I, I feel like that's what I miss the most. You know, um, when you're injured on IR, you kind of, you know, you're part of the team and stuff like that, but you kind of feel like a little bit separate. You know what I'm saying? So just being involved in every single thing and, um, you know, just being being back to full health is it's a great feeling. So, so yeah, it feels good. And then lastly, just what have you seen from, it's obviously a, a young secondary, but a, a hungry group, I would say. You know, what have you seen from, you know, your group and, and what's your guys' collective mindset as you prepare for the Seahawks here heading into Sunday's game? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I know we're young. Uh, we're a bit 
inexperienced in terms of like years in the league and stuff like that. But um, as far as talent goes and um, hunger and stuff like that, I feel like we match up as, as good as anybody in the league. But, um, I know I'm biased and a lot of people probably don't don't agree with me, but that's just that's straight up how I feel, like, truly. So, I mean, yeah, can't <laughs> agree with me. So, um, so yeah, and we're not really out there to prove none to nobody. We're just going out there doing our business and trying to win games. So, I mean, that's what we're trying to do.